Hello, Jess again here, and a few days ago, a LEGO Frozen Ice Castle set for $200 was revealed with 1,709 pieces for mini dolls releasing July 1st. Apparently, this will be available at regular stores, not just a LEGO store exclusive. So, like, this is such a good idea. A large-scale LEGO Ice Castle for Frozen. Hell, the age range here is the oldest for any mini doll set. No other LEGO set is 14+, plus with mini dolls. But to me, at that point, they should have swapped it out for minifigures. Like, I enjoy mini dolls more than others, but most a foals including myself, prefer minifigures from mini dolls. And with this set being for older teens, this could have been a perfect way to get Anna and Elsa again as minifigures, having only appeared in the now discontinued Disney series 2, as well as get minifigures for Kristoff or other characters like Hans. Well, we haven't even gotten a mini doll for him. If they did that, I could have seen the set selling like hotcakes to adults. Because it seems like a lot of adult collectors are totally against mini dolls, judging by comments I've received over the years on my videos and just community reception. But to be fair, I don't think this set is going to be a flop or anything. This set is still going to be super popular. Frozen is still popular, and the build here, the most important part, is honestly phenomenal. They took the idea of the Disney castle and made it for the Ice Palace essentially. This facade with the rounded bricks at the bottom. I especially adore the translucent blue pieces throughout, not reserved in their use. The interior isn't as spacious as the Disney castle, but legit has the most iconic parts of the Ice Castle. The big stairs leading to the balcony, a throne and such. I guess they didn't want to put minifigures because the other Disney Frozen sets on the market use mini dolls, I don't know. But speaking of which, LEGO revealed the Disney Princess August 2021 sets. There's the $25 storybook adventure with 130 pieces and 3 micro dolls. I can't believe this is the second set with Tiana, and once again she's just shoved in with most overdone Disney princesses, this time 3 of them. They just need an individual Tiana set. Anyways, there's the Frozen Wonderland set, which is a junior's version of the Ice Castle for 40 bucks with 154 pieces. Pieces. Bell and Rapunzel's Royal Stables for 50 bucks with 239 pieces, which is such a weird combo. I didn't know these two exist in the same universe, but honestly, a different change up in scenery from the LEGO Disney Princess sets is welcome. The strongest aside from the Ice Castle would be Bell and Beast's Castle, which is pretty overpriced at 80 bucks, but the 505 pieces here make for a build more substantial than the last non 4 plus Bell and Beast's Castle. That's it for now, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you think this set should have had mini dolls or not. Subscribe for more LEGO Disney content and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.